Okay, today we're going to cover problem 1-1b at the end of chapter 1 on page 41. So to set this up, we have this Excel spreadsheet and we have the accounts listed here. So we have cash, accounts receivable, supplies, equipment, accounts payable, owner's capital, owner's drawing, revenue, and expense. So what we're going to do is go through the problem. So here it says that on April 1st, Vince Morelli established Vince's travel agency and had the following 10 transactions for the month. So on transaction number one, they invested $15,000 cash in the business. So we have increase to cash $15,000 and increase to owner's equity of $15,000. Transaction number two says that they paid cash, $600 cash for office rent. So there's a decrease in cash for $600. And we have a rent expense for $600. Transaction number three says that they purchased office equipment for $3,000 cash. So the cash account decreases by $3,000, while the office equipment account increases by $3,000. Transaction number four says that they incurred $700 of advertising costs in the Chicago Tribune on account. So on account means that there's a bill that the company now owes and they haven't paid it yet, but we have to book this transaction for this expense. So accounts payable, meaning on account, is increased while expenses are also increased. Transaction five says that um, $800 cash was paid for office supplies. So office supplies, excuse me, cash first decreases by $800. And office supplies increase by $100. And transaction six says $10,000 was earned for services rendered, meaning revenue was generated. Okay, 3,000 of this 10,000 was received up front in cash and the balance of 7,000 was billed, creating an accounts receivable. So cash increases by 3,000. Accounts receivable, the amount that was billed, also increases by 7,000. And revenue increases by $10,000. In transaction seven, um, $500 cash with, was withdrawn for personal use. So cash decreases by 500 and owner's withdrawals reduces owner's equity by $500. Transaction eight says they paid Chicago Tribune $500 for the amount due in transaction four. So the accounts receivable excuse me, accounts payable is going to decrease by $500. And in cash, correspondingly, is going to decrease by $500. Then transaction nine says they paid employee salaries of $2,500. So this should imply, or this means that $2,500 of employee salary was paid in cash thereby reducing cash by $2,500 and we have an expense for $2,500. And transaction 10 says they received $4,000 cash from customers who have previously been billed in transaction six. So that was from the accounts receivable. So they're gonna receive cash of 4,000 so that's going to increase cash. And then accounts receivable is going to decrease. So the amount that is owed by the customers goes down by $4,000. So now we're going to sum each one of these uh, accounts for every single one of the transactions that occur. So cash is 14,400 and we sum this across Accounts receivable is 3,000, supplies 800, equipment 3,000, accounts payable 200, owner's capital 1,500, withdrawals, 15,000, excuse me, withdrawals are 500, revenue 10,000, expenses 3,800. 
So my total assets are equal to the cash plus accounts receivable plus supplies plus equipment. So my total assets are 20900 Then my liabilities plus my owner's equity should equal 20900 So that should be accounts payable plus owner's capital plus owner's withdrawals, withdrawals plus revenue and expense. Okay. So in this case, and as in all cases, assets should equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So that answers part A. Okay, so in part B it says from the analysis of the owner's equity column, compute the net income or net loss. So all that's revenue minus expense. So that's revenue of 10,000. We have expense of 3,800. So my net income is 6,200. So that completes problem 1-1B.